Well guys, I've kind of come to that point where i got to take and do something on this 3D printer. Now as many of you may have seen as I, I printed this dragon with the glow in the dark PLA. Cool thing about glow in the dark PLA is it looks really cool and in the light and everything. It looks really nice. Bad thing is it just eats up nozzles like crazy, especially after a 34 hour print. The next print I did after that, I noticed all these lines on the back of this uh, Moon City model. Everything inside here looks really good. Everything inside looks really nice, except I see a little bit right there. Inside here looks great, but on the back side of it, I see these layer lines. And the only thing I can think of is the nozzle got wore out during that, that long print. Same way with the Groot whenever I printed it. If you look very, very closely, you can see some layer lines to it not as noticeable with the wood PLA as it is with with the regular PLA but once again on the back of it you can see a little bit more layer lines there than you can on the front so that leads me to think that I, I just need to go ahead and change out this nozzle so let me go ahead and get everything set up and hopefully I can get you a shot of how to change out this this uh, nozzle Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've heated up the nozzle to 230 degrees. And I've let it sit here for a few minutes to let everything heat up really nice. Now, what I'm going to be replacing this with is going to be the Micro Swiss, uh, see if I can get in front of the camera there, Micro Swiss plated nozzles for the E3D Volcano. And that's the one that, from what I'm understanding, that's what this one is. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to support the heat block with some pliers, a wrench. I'm using some needle nose pliers just to hold pressure on the heat block, make sure I don't move it. I'm using a seven, yeah, seven millimeter socket and slowly and easily remove that nozzle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of remember the position that's in. I'm going to remove this socket from my little finger ratchet that I have and start removing it as quickly as I can so I don't heat this socket up too much because it will burn the soup out of you if you don't do it right. Okay, and as you can see this is just a plain brass nozzle. Pull it out of my socket here so you can see a better look at it. So now what I want to do is I want to replace it with the Micro Swiss nozzle. Now once again this is a plated nozzle. This is not a hardened steel nozzle. So as far as printing for long periods of time using that uh, glow in the dark filament I wouldn't recommend it. But at the same time I, I definitely could do it. It does have a coating on it that will allow you to to print with materials like that without wearing the, the nozzle as fast, but it will eventually wear the nozzle out. Now, trying to see if you can see there, there is a small gap that's right there. There's a small gap, and that's what you want because you want to make sure that it's butting up against the, the throat coming into the heat block. Now I'm going to take my little finger ratchet and I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. Make sure not to put a lot of strain on that heat block otherwise you can break the nozzle throat. And there we go. So now we have the new nozzle into it. Next thing I need to do is I need to probably just go ahead and reprint Moon City because that was the easiest way of telling when there's an issue. I believe I have enough of the same exact filament left so I'm going to use exactly the same G-code and just go ahead and reprint that and let's see how it looks at the end of the, the time lapse. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. When you have a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com. We can purchase merchandise from my TeePublic store as well as check out my Amazon affiliate link. 
Anything purchased from one of those helps the channel tremendously, and I thank you for it. Also, if you'd like to support the channel as many of these people have, please check out my Patreon link over here. You can support the channel from there. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe over here. And if you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give one of these a shot. I think you're going to like them, especially that one over there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care.